Hi everyone, I'm Chrissy and this is Chloe. We are the co-founders of Sky Ting Yoga in New York City. Welcome to Good Moves with Well and Good. Today we're going to be doing a 20 minute sequence for you to unravel some stress and anxiety. So this is a calming flow that you can do after a long day or maybe you wanna start your day with a more clear mind. We're gonna get started on your back, but actually before I say that, I should mention if you have a couch cushion or a pillow or something that looks like this, grab that and then lie on your back. Chloe will demonstrate. So feet on the floor, you're going to take your right leg straight up towards the sky and interlace your hands behind your right hamstring and go ahead and stretch the left leg long on the floor and try to anchor that left leg heavy down towards the floor. Energy through your heels, reach through your legs, soften your eyes. You can close the eyes, relax your jaw. Breathing in and breathing out, just getting some activity through the legs, through the hamstrings. If you want, you can circle your ankle around in a circle, getting out the cracks in the right ankle, circling one way, circling the other way. And then pull that right knee into your chest and we're gonna take a little twist over to the right. So cross the knee over towards the left side, open the right arm to the right side and look past your right shoulder. So the knee does not have to find the floor, nor does your right shoulder. Just a simple spinal twist, lubricating the joints of the spine. Take one more breath in and exhale the breath out. And then come back to center, lying flat on the mat. You might need to position yourself so that you're in the middle again. And then switch sides, left leg lifts up, interlace your hands. You can swap out the interlacing if you know how. Right leg is long, right leg is heavy. Reach under the energy through your heels. Relax your eyes, relax your jaw, relax your face. Circle the ankle. Do that on the first side. Chloe's got some clickies in her ankle. Go the other way. And then pull the left knee into your chest. Let's take that twist, crossing the knee over the body towards the right. Open the left arm towards the left and look past it. Breathing in, breathing out. Focus on drawing your attention into your body. Breathing into that left lung, especially on this side. Let's take one more deep breath in. And exhale the breath out. Good, come back to center. And then hug both knees into your chest. Hug yourself into a little tiny ball shape. And then just some spinal rocks back and forth along your spine. Do like five rocks up and down, up and down, up and down until you get enough momentum to sit all the way up. Cross at the ankles and come forward to all fours, hands and knees. Take your right arm up towards the sky and turn and look up at the right hand and then you're going to thread the needle, right arm slips underneath the left arm. Turn your whole head down and right ear down towards the floor. You can lift the left elbow up for leverage. You can come up onto your fingertips of the left hand and try to turn your spine as you keep the hips lifted over the knees. See if your ankles can reach heavy down towards the floor. One more deep breath in, getting into the back of the shoulder and exhale the breath out. Good, left hand back underneath your shoulder, reach the right arm up towards the sky for a twist, and then swim the right arm forward and down and switch sides. Left arm reaches up, turn and look up, and then left arm slides underneath the right arm. Left ear towards the floor, crawl the right hand forward up onto your fingertips, and then lift the elbow and spin your torso. So try to turn your heart to the side of the room, keep your hips lifted and breathe. The belly should be rising and falling on your breath. See if you can deepen your breath, make it easy and fluid. And then take the right hand down underneath you, sweep the left arm up towards the sky again, turn and look up, and then swim stroke the arm forward and down. From here, tuck your toes underneath you and lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. And then from down dog, walk your feet to your hands and walk your hands to your feet so you're in the center of your mat in a forward fold. 
Your feet can be separated two fist distances apart. That's inner hips distance. Crown of the head drops heavy towards the floor. So it's so nice when you're experiencing anxiety and stress to flip yourself upside down for one, but also to fold forward. So you'll notice Chloe is more internal. She's looking at herself. She can't see what's going on around her. Her head's reaching towards the floor and she's moving in towards like a hibernation position, like a, a shelled position, which is soothing for your nervous system. So we're gonna stay here a little bit longer. You can rock forward and back on your feet like you're in a rocking chair. You can move side to side with your spine. If that feels good, let your spine get loose and easy. Good. And then take your hands back forward out in front of you. Walk your feet back behind you. Come towards a plank pose just as a transition. And then lower your knees to the floor, knees wide, big toes touch. Point your feet back and sit back, child's pose position. So your forehead, ideally we want pressing into the floor. If that's not happening, then you'll want to grab that cushion that we had you get and you can put that underneath your forehead. So your head's resting into something. So again, a folded forward position, your mental energy can just drop into the ground and get composted and recycled into new energy. Breathing in and breathing out. From here, you're going to interlace your hands behind your lower back and then roll onto the very top of your head as you lift your hips up and arc the arms forward towards the front of the space. So your spine is rounded, your hips are lifted, and you can lean a little bit side to side or roll around on the crown of the head, just stimulating the top of the head onto the floor, getting some blood flow to the brain. And then sit back on your heels, hands back to your lower back, switch the interlacing of your hands, do the same exact thing, rolling forward, lifting your hips, being on the top of the head, arc the arms overhead. Let's take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, sit back down, release your arms forward this time, come forward to all fours, and then tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. And then take your right leg up and back behind you, bend the knee and open up the hip. Good, and then you're going to extend the leg, step the right foot forward to a lunge. Let's take the hands on the inside of this front foot and pivot all the way around to the side of the mat so your feet are parallel. Look down, make sure your heels are in the same line as one another. Look forward on your fingertips, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, fold down, crown of the head finds the floor, or again, grab that pillow and put it underneath the crown of your head. So you'll see Chloe has the pillow under her head. Her arms are like chaturanga arms. Another variation for your arms is to walk them forward like a down dog out in front of you. And that will cause a little more length in the spine, which is a nice thing to do if you tend to have a, um, tight upper back. We're gonna be here for a little bit longer of a period of time, so keep lengthening, keep lifting up through the hamstrings and up through your sitting bones, keep stretching your waist and breathing most importantly. Again, you can close the eyes. So it's nice to stay longer in positions and see what arises and see how your body gives you more space the longer we stay in any one position. So maybe you find your head's getting heavier into the floor, heavier into that cushion. I meant to say this, but your head might not even find the cushion and that's okay. It can just dangle towards the floor. One more cycle of breath in and exhale the breath out. Good, from here, walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, look forward and then transition back through that lunge. Walk your hands forward towards the right, turn your feet, lift your back heel and then step back, downward facing dog, hips are high. Good, just switching sides, left leg lifts up and back, bend the knee and open up your hips, stay here for a moment. And then re-extend the leg, step forward to a lunge on the left side. Same deal, hands on the inside, pivot your feet around so you're in a wide straddle position. 
and then looking forward long spine exhale fold bow drop the crown of the head towards the floor if you want you can take a different arm variation on this side you can grab your ankles you can interlace your hands behind your low back so you'll notice that Chloe's legs opened up more on this side, so her head is on the floor. You might not need your pillow on one side. And then breathing in and breathing out. We won't stay for as long of time, but it's nice to repeat a posture and see where you've been, how the body's changed. We move in yoga very slowly and muscle fiber by muscle fiber. It's not a game of forcing, especially in a more restorative class like we're doing right now. Let's come up onto the fingertips again. Look forward, lengthen your spine, pause here, and then pivot your way around towards that lunge facing forward. Lift your back heel and step back downward facing dog hips. And right leg lifts up again, breathe in, and then slide your right shin forward to pigeon pose on the right side. So you might want to use that pillow underneath your hips. You want your hips to be square so that right knee is further to the right side than you might think. Lift your chest up as you breathe in, and then exhale, fold forward and down elbows to the floor. You can make a palm pillow for your forehead to rest on or you can just take your hands to cup your face like you're taking a school picture. And you can even like massage out your jaw with your fingers while you're here or your temples, that feels good. The hips and the jaw are somehow so intricately related, so relaxing one will help to relax both and tensing one will, will tighten both, so. Definitely relax your jaw, especially if you're about to go to sleep. No teeth grinding. Let's take a few more cycles of breath. Good, and then lift your chest up, walk your hands back, slowly come up, and swing the back leg around to the front. So the left leg will be straight out in front of you. The right knee is going to pull in towards your chest. And then you're going to step the right foot across your left knee. And then you can keep the left leg straight or fold this left knee in. We're coming into a seated spinal twist. Chloe's going to keep her leg straight. Right hand behind you. Left arm reaches up as you breathe in. And then exhale. Hook the elbow and turn to the right as you breathe out. Staying here. Breathing in. Trying to lift the spine up tall. Exhale. You twist. Good. Again. Breathing in. And breathing out. And one more, breathe in and breathe out. And come back to center as you inhale, counter rotate to the left as you exhale. And then inhale, come back to center. And however you wanna get back to down dog, get back to down dog. We're not watching. We don't care if it's pretty, downward facing. Left side, left leg lifts up and back as you breathe in. And then slide the left shin across the top of the mat. Left knee goes to the left, right leg goes behind you. Lift your chest up, get settled, and then walk forward and down. And fold any amount on your elbows, on your palms. If you have another cushion or a block at home, you can do this one, which is nice. So a few more cycles of breath here, making sure you're breathing. And then walk your hands back up, lift your chest up. Swing your back leg around to the front and step your left foot in and cross the foot over your right leg and fold the knee in if you did that on the first side. Left hand behind you, right arm reaches up, breathe in. And then twist to the left, hook the elbow as you breathe out. Sitting up tall, try to rinse your spine out, look behind you, and even get your eyeballs involved, turning your eyes towards the left side, like you're Cleopatra and you have those big cat eyes on. Take one more breath in and exhale the breath out. Good. Come back to center, turn the other way around. 
and then come back to center and from here shake both legs out in front of you just for a moment we're going to do um, Baddha Konasana with the legs so bend your knees in butterfly the knees open so we're going to take a wider stance than normal you're going to um, move your hips back or your feet forward so it's like a wide uh, diamond shape more than like a tight closed position lift your chest up and then you're going to curl the spine crown of the head towards your feet again dropping in towards yourself so this is like you being a snail in a shell hearing the sound of your breath the breath when it sounds oceanic is very soothing for the nervous system So you really want to draw your mind into your body while you're doing yoga. It's so easy to think about other things, but if we could stay present for a few moments during the day, it's so beneficial for so many reasons. And it keeps us um, in a state of ease because really when you're in presence, it's things are more okay. <laughs> And if you're stressed about something in the future or ruminating about something in the past, so hear your breath, notice the sensations coming up from this pose, from this class, and be with that. Good, come up to sit slowly, rolling through the spine. And then if you have a prop underneath you, you can move it to the side. And just go ahead and lie all the way down onto your back. Take your feet wide apart, knees knock in towards one another, one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Close the eyes and we're going to finish class with a simple breathing exercise where you're making the exhalation a few counts longer than the inhalation. So we're gonna inhale for a count of four and exhale for a count of six. And it's that easy, I'll count us through it. Take a breath in, two, three, four and breathing out two three four five six again in two three four breathing out two three four five six again in two three four and out two three four five six and then breathe normally. It's more relaxing to lengthen the exhalation. That's a trick you can do at any point during your day when you feel out of sorts or anxious. Roll over to the right side. When you're ready, curl up into a little fetal position. And then very slowly come up to sit and you can if you have time and have a meditation practice, now's a good time to do it. Otherwise, thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this was a short little anti-stress class. I'm Chrissy, this is Chloe. Um, you can subscribe and view more videos on Well and Good's platform. We'll see you soon, thank you.